this monster, this new monster. It's not a mythical monster from our creation stories, but it's a present day monster that we as human beings created, just like Frankenstein. If we understand it, we can create a better world for our children. Our sacred mother is hemorrhaging. Thick black poison has flowed inside her rushing veins and created a corrupted bloodstream. We have left her in ruins with steel and plastic. We have sliced open her skin time after time and allowed greed to consume her. Our plant relatives have been replaced with concrete. The cars that are driving, they have polluted our air quality. The animals are being impacted the more that we move in on their home territories. The extreme rise in heat temperatures, coastal erosion. Rivers that don't flow as high as they used to. Decrease in water availability. Everyone always talks about climate change and climate disasters, and today I'm going to talk about climate hope. We hear the word climate hope, and that's something that's like a life raft that you're reaching out to. Learn how to speak to the plants and the animals and the earth, but more so learn how to listen. Gain a connection. You have to have that place of, of compassion and kindness and a, a fundamental commitment to recognize one another's humanity because that is going to be the key to whether or not we survive and whether or not we survive in a way that is, is beautiful. So when it comes to vulnerable populations, we're, we're there. When it comes to adaptability, we've always been there. Am I going to make a difference? Can I make a difference? You know, is it even going to matter? Yes, you can. We hope to become the generation that our ancestors had hoped for. I see hope in the anger of the youth that they're going to say to us, you started this, but we're going to fix it. You hang in there and you be there, it will come around and we will come out on the good side. We just have to work together to get there. And we have some, somewhat of a disconnect in our broader communities with natural systems. We're building over a lot of, of natural space and we're not considering what have, what have we lost by doing that. Because if we don't have a healthy environment, we don't have healthy people. Because we're so reliant on consumerism that we don't think about the end product life of everything that we purchase. You don't have to do everything at once. You can just do one thing at a time and don't get overwhelmed and keep up the hope. The original environmentalists, sometimes we lose track, we get distracted, and we forget. But that's who we really are. That's who every human being is. It's in our hearts, so we just have to return to that. It's always with us. To center healing is absolutely critical to everything we do. Um, the earth needs to be healed, the waters need to be healed, we human beings need to be healed, our relationship with one another needs to be healed. Mother, teach us to respect, teach us to grow, teach us the power of our bare hands, teach us to protect a home. We have forgotten how to cherish, we have forgotten how to cushion. Teach us to heal you, teach us to heal ourselves. We must learn to bandage our past without discarding it. <laughs> Protege nuestro planeta. Nyokur y Churka. Protege nuestro planeta. Protege nuestro planeta. Protect our Earth.